We are still trying to beat this summer heat with some crock pot recipes. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I have got four super easy and delicious, even budget friendly crock pot recipes for you guys. And they are only two ingredients in the crock pot. Let's get to cooking. Got some chicken tenders here. We're gonna do some quick barbecue chicken in the crock pot. This is a great way to get some protein cooked in the summertime. And you can serve this on anything. You can have it in wraps and salads. Um, have barbecue chicken sandwiches. So I've got enough chicken tenders that's probably gonna equal out to about two normal sized chicken breasts. And then I've got this uh, Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce I just pulled out of the fridge. It's got a little bit left. And we're just gonna give it a good squirt. Put the lid on it and let it cook on low for a few hours. It does not take long at all because there's not a lot in there. Um, and you could like double or triple this and put it in the freezer and have already cooked shredded barbecue chicken ready to go for future meals in the freezer. Here's what it looks like when it's all done. You could easily just pull it out and serve it along with sides or you can shred it like I like. And like I said at the beginning, you could easily freeze this and already have cooked shredded barbecue chicken in your freezer for easy meals or you can serve it on barbecue chicken ranch quesadillas or um, barbecue chicken sandwiches or wraps or literally anything y'all. Next up is pesto chicken. This is definitely a family favorite. We all enjoy this one. So for this one, all you need is about anywhere from four to six boneless, skinless chicken thighs and pesto. Now I've been having a hard time finding regular size bottles of pesto at Walmart. So I did find some at Sam's Club. We ended up getting three meals out of that container from Sam's Club and it's really really good if you've not tried it yet I will be repurchasing that from Sam's um, so I'm taking about three-fourths of a cup of that and putting it right on top of that chicken you're just gonna cover it and let it cook on low for about four hours that's all it takes I love cooking chicken thighs and like chicken tenders and stuff in the crock pot because it does not take near as long to cook and say you forget to put dinner on <laughs> last minute if you put it on at lunchtime you could still have a delicious hot meal by dinner time here is what it looks like when it's all done and shredded up. It just falls right apart. We like to serve ours with some Parmesan noodles. I like to get the frozen ravioli and just coat it in some butter and Parmesan cheese. And then we just serve it with garlic bread, but you can also serve this with like a cheesy risotto or just plain pasta, whatever you have on hand. Next up, we're going to do some meatballs and spaghetti sauce. This one is super easy and it's also budget friendly for me at least because I've still been able to find packages of meatballs for $3.99 a bag. At my Ruler Foods, they run that sale a lot. So every time I go in there and find them for that price, I definitely grab them and keep them in my freezer. You're just gonna cover it with your favorite spaghetti sauce, put the lid on it, let it cook on low for about six hours. The meatballs are already cooked through, so you're just wanting to marry everything together. Here is what they look like when they were all done. You could easily cook you up some noodles, toss it in there, or you can serve it on the side with some garlic bread. But we had ours as meatball subs, so let me show you how I put it together. I have just got a grades 9 by 13 baking dish. I do have my oven preheated at 400. I'm gonna go ahead and add my meatballs onto my hot dog buns. 
Luke went to two different stores trying to find hoagie buns or sub buns and he could not find them. I said, just get hot dog buns and I'll make it work. And y'all look, it worked out perfect. The meatballs were the perfect size for these hot dog buns. So I've just got three meatballs on each one. I'm putting them in the pan and then I'm gonna top it with some Italian blend cheese as well as some Parmesan cheese. And I just put these in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. You're just wanting the cheese to melt and kind of the bread to get kind of toasty at the bottom and the top. We just served it with some Parmesan tortellini, and here are the meatball subs. They were so good, easy to put together, and delicious. Next up is salsa chicken. This one is so easy, another great two ingredient crock pot recipe all you need is some chicken breast or chicken thighs chicken tenders whatever you keep on hand i've got two there and then i'm going to add about a cup of our favorite salsa the yellow label mateos is our personal favorite you can get that at walmart you just use whatever your family likes you can even use like the fresh farmer's market kind whatever you like just add it on top of your chicken cover it and let it cook on low for about four hours here is what it looks like when it's all done. And then I just take and shred it up. It just falls right apart. You can do so many things with this salsa chicken. It's perfect for meal prep as well. You could do it at the beginning of the week and have it all throughout the week. You can have it as with burrito bowls. You can do regular burritos or for us, we turned it into quesadillas. It was so, so good. It, this, the two chicken breasts ended up making four decent size cheese quesadillas. And that's it guys that wraps up today's video i really hope you enjoyed these four super easy and delicious even budget friendly two ingredient crock pot recipes i don't know about you guys but i personally use my crock pot year round but i definitely use it a lot in the summer because we've got to keep the house cool and that's one of my favorite ways to do so i really hope you enjoyed today's video and i'll see you in the next one bye guys